Hi guys, in this video, I'll show you how to multiply positive and negative numbers. So let's start at the basics. We have 2 times 3, but what exactly does that mean? This means we take 2 plus 2 plus 2 three times, as you can see. So 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6. How about 1 times 4? That's going to be 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So we add 1 together 4 times, and that gives you 4. So here's the rule that you need to remember. So when multiplying, if there is an even number of negative signs, the answer will be positive. And if there is an odd number of negative signs, then the answer will be negative. What is 6 times 9? Well, 6 times 9 will be 54. What is negative 6 times 9? There is one negative sign, which is an odd number of negative signs. So the answer will be negative. That's going to be negative 54. 6 times negative 9 will also be negative 54, because there is only one negative sign. Last but not least, what is negative 6 times negative 9? Here there are two negative signs, which is an even number of negative signs. So the answer will be positive. It will simply be 54. What is negative 8 times negative 7? So go ahead and try this one. We know 8 times 7 is 56. And there are two negative signs. So the answer will be positive. How about negative 9 times 7? 9 times 7 is 63. Now, there's a negative sign here, because in the multiplication, there is one negative sign. Let's try something harder. We have negative 7 times negative 6 times 5. So negative 7 times negative 6 will give you positive 42. And what is 42 times 5? 42 times 5. So 5 times 2 is 10. 4 times 5 is 20. Add 1. That gives you 21. And so the answer will be 210. We have 2 times negative 4 times negative 10 times negative 5. So 2 times negative 4 gives you negative 8. Negative 8 times negative 10 gives you positive 80. And what about 80 times negative 5? 80 times negative 5 gives you negative 400. Now it is your turn. So I want you to try negative 1 times negative 2 times 3 times negative 4 times negative 5 and times negative 1. And go ahead and put the answer down in the comment section below. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and share with your classmates. Thanks for watching.